Hi, my name's Keith Cooper, Northlight Images, and uh, in this short video I'm going to try and address a question I get asked quite often when I write printer reviews. Um, now this is XP15000 from Epson, uh, one that I just recently looked at. Normally I look at uh, somewhat higher end printers, bigger printers than this, but this one's capable of very good results if you use ICC profiles, that's printer profiles. And people say, well, what are printer profiles and what difference do they make? Why should I bother using printer profiles? Well, I'll not go into all the details. So if you understand this already, please excuse my generalizations. But when a printer puts ink on paper to make a print. And remember that uh, the colors you see here are mixtures of colored inks in the printer. The actual color that's produced on the image depends very much on the paper. So for example, we take this picture of Ely Cathedral. This is on a bright metallic glossy paper. This is on a matte paper. And this is on canvas. Now, the inks settle on papers in different ways and they soak into it and they dry differently. That means that the picture produced on the glossy paper is quite different to the picture produced on the canvas. Now, you can actually make this one more like this by varnishing it, but this is the actual image as printed directly. Now, there are lots of different papers, and that's not just including the manufacturer's papers. So we need some way of describing the characteristics of the paper. That's partly done when you do the media settings in the driver. So when you say it is a matte paper, glossy photo paper, or something like that. But there's actually far more difference in papers. And the differences can be quite subtle as well. So that colours that look fine on one paper may come out slightly off on another. How do we address this? Well, I create things myself, as do paper manufacturers and the printer makers. I create things called printer profiles. Um, now, these are quite complex. I'm not going to go into any of the detail here. But effectively, to make a printer profile, I print out what's called a target, which is this. See all these different colors here. Now, the computer software that has created the image knows what colors these should be. So we know what colors these should be. I then measure this chart using a spectrophotometer, very accurate way of measuring the colors very precisely. And I end up with a set of readings with what the colors actually are. So we know what the colors should be. We know what the colors are. And this is on one of the metallic papers. And here's on a matte paper. A slight difference, you may be able to see it on the video. But certainly the spectrophotometer, when I read these charts, can easily measure the differences between the papers. So take these readings, you run them through some software, and it creates a profile. Now at one level, you can think of a profile as a way, a translation, between the colors you want and the colors you'll get. The profile covers the colors you'll get. So if you know the profile, you can adjust the colors you send to the printer to get the, print the colors you want. So think of it, this generates the translation between my image on the screen and what gets sent to the printer. Now it's there's lots more complexity to that. Now, I'll put some links to some articles uh, with this video if you're interested in more of the details, because I have looked at lots of the equipment you use for this. Uh, these predate when I made videos, so they're quite lengthy articles. Um, they cover equipment for profiling printers, for monitor calibration, and all kinds of other bits and pieces that's associated with this area of color management. So, why do you use them? Well, they enable you to produce better prints more often, more reliably. And it's as simple as that. They're not perfect. Um, there are all kinds of subtleties involved in putting droplets of ink on paper and uh, displaying colors on the screens. So they're by no means perfect, but they give you a consistent approach. 
and they're certainly much better than just trying to adjust colors by eye and trying to get them roughly correct because you're not going to really work with that so that's a simple thing you create profiles now the manufacturers of the printer will provide some profiles to go with their papers many paper suppliers will also provide profiles certainly some of the better known ones some suppliers of paper will even send you a, a file to print something like this so that you can send it back to them and they'll make you a custom profile um, so profiling is an essential part in your printer workflow and it makes it more reliable uh, it doesn't guarantee it'll work but it just makes it more likely that it will work so hopefully that gives you a brief idea of why i use i make my own profiles use test images to check colors and all kinds of stuff like that but say so do have a look at the uh, articles that i've linked there's more detail about the equipment and things um, i'm going to be making more videos covering aspects of color management all different areas cameras uh, monitors printers and things like that so please do subscribe to the channel if you find it interesting and if you've got specific questions either email me at northlight or leave a comment in the uh, youtube channel on for this video so uh, hopefully that gives you an overview of why you use profiles because they make better prints thank you